Y sin más, voy a presentar al doctor Frank Fisher de la University Library de Göttingen, del SUP, que va a hacer una presentación sobre la investigación y el desarrollo de los proyectos que vienen llevando a cabo desde esta institución. Sin más, Frank, te cedemos la palabra. Hola, buenos días. Me llamo Frank. Yo trabajo en la Biblioteca Estatal de Göttingen y ahora empiezan las presentaciones en inglés. So, first of all, thank you for having us here. I think it's a good way to strengthen our ties and our collaboration and to do it on a practical level, like we will be doing it in the next three days, is the best thing that can, that can happen, I think. What I'm going to present now, and I'm trying to talk slowly so that you know, everybody can follow, uh, is um, our department at the University Library uh, of Göttingen. So we are 35 people all together, and we arrived here with our special forces, six people who are really um, invested in doing practical things and in distributing uh, all the practical knowledge that we gathered in the last roughly 12 years since... Um, the, the department was, was founded. At the moment we run or we are participating in 14 third party funded projects and more than 80% of our projects are third party funded. And our primary mission is to develop new infrastructural services for research uh, and not improving traditional services but looking for things that are new that we can do and this is a list, uh, it's not complete, of some of our third party founders, so some high level founders like the Federal Ministry of Education and Research and some others as well. And the main areas of research and development in our department are really our virtual research environments. This is a word that you will be hearing a lot in the next consecutive days and what it is really is uh, a possibility to collabor collaboratively work um, on, for example, digital editions, share knowledge, uh, correct one each other, and also analyze the stuff that we are actually editing. Yeah, and this is also some, some more information on, on what a virtual researcher mind actually is. It's re really basically an online platform for researchers to facilitate sharing and collaboration, and it supports the entire scholarly workflow from data gathering, discussion, data processing, to the publication and analysis of the results. So uh, I will start, this is really just a short introduction of uh, what we are doing at the department, uh, by introducing four of our projects. First of all, TextGrid, which is really also the infrastructure that we are going to use in the next days. This uh, image kind of explains how we get from sources, um, analog digital objects, uh, putting them into the in a, into a virtual research environment and granting access and curation of these, of these objects. And this is really um, the way that we are all also going to go in the next days. So from left to right. And that's also the title of this workshop, I think, from uh, analog material to their digital representation. TextGrid is already uh, very old. I think it's, it's almost 10 years old now. It was established in 2006 and funded by the German Federal Ministry of Education and Research. It's uh, definitely one of the most advanced projects of its kind and has up to now 1,500 registered users and 30 research projects that, that are using TextRit in the infrastructure and the numbers are really increasing, not only thanks to a workshop like this. These are the three pillars 
of the TextCrit virtual research environment. We will be working with the TextCrit laboratory and we will be showing how we can use the repository to store our data and to analyze data that's already in there. And documentation and the community is a big part of the whole project, so you will know who to talk to if you have problems doing, doing things. And we also offer training courses. Also, this workshop is part of this, of this strategy to distribute this practical knowledge. We will be hearing a lot more about TechScript, so let's now switch to Daria DE, which is uh, also an infrastructural project a uh, really big one, I think. Uh, it supports digitally enabled research and teaching in the arts and humanities. That's really what the abbreviation also says. And the goal of the whole field of the digital humanities is to generate new research questions, a new kind of questions. Uh, and we can also, or that's how the whole field started out, try to answer old research questions with new digital methods just to have some kind of ground truth to go on with our research and really start developing new uh, research questions and new answers, of course. So Daria DE, the DE of course indicates the, that it's the national uh, infrastructure of Daria for Germany, uh, is developing a research in infrastructure which offers tools, uh, all kinds of generic services, and grants access to research data as well as materials. This is, uh, it looks very complicated. Uh, uh, this is uh, the four pillars of, of Daria DE and we will be walking uh, uh, bottom up these pillars in a later presentation just to show you how we can use the whole infrastructure for one particular project because it's obvious that we don't need all these points for every project, but it offers many possibilities so that every pro project can profit from it. And this is also an image which seems a bit uncanny because it's so overwhelming. These are some projects that are using the Daria DE and TextRed infrastructure. So in the last couple of years, there were really more and more projects trying to adapt to these new technologies and on our side we, we gathered a lot of experience in how to build this kind of projects, you know, collaborating with all these researchers. Uh, Jimena already uh, mentioned the Sendari uh, program, also the University Library of Göttingen took part in it and we mostly, it's also an infrastructural project but we mostly benefited from it through the fellows that we, that we, that we were having in Göttingen and that's also how this workshop um, you know, um, was developed because we were discussing what you know, the Spanish uh, Lint Laboratorio uh, is doing and what we are doing and it was, it's always very easy to find ways to collaborate in this and to learn from each other. And that's really a big benefit of the Centauri program. And for those of you who don't know what it is about, uh, it's has two pillars. It's, the first one is research on the First World War and the second one is about the research of medieval European culture. So if you are an investigator in each of these fields you could apply for a fellowship and you could do an, um, you could go to all the places that were that are offering a fellowship, uh, for example Göttingen or uh, also Prague. We have a fellow here that's uh, at the moment Sandari Fellow in Prague. And the last one, the last project that we are running at the State Library is the Göttingen E Research Alliance. This is really a local project, but I think it's important to show how we do that kind of thing, distribution of digital knowledge on the whole campus, because we also learn from other campuses worldwide, and I think it's always good to talk about how we are doing things and maybe get feedback or maybe even give some inspiration to people who are about to build and e-research infrastructure as well. So in the bottom right, there is all the people involved with the ERA, the e-research alliance of Göttingen, and their goal is really to offer services to all members of this big Göttingen campus, uh, health the city of Göttingen, 
um, you know, belongs in some way uh, to the university, so people are working there or are involved with the university, so Göttingen, the whole town, is really it's kind of like a small town, but uh, the university is pretty, pretty big there, and, you know, that's also nice uh, to, uh, to be able to concentrate in a, you know, small uh, medieval German town, uh, concentrate on, on, your, on your research. And because the campus is so big, it's important to, to, to spread the word, you know, what we are offering, what we can do for people uh, on the campus, and that's really what this uh, team is doing. Okay, this slide already says thank you. This was just a brief introduction of the Göttingen Library and the things that we are doing. And I really hope after this whole heap of presentations that we are going to give today, we can concentrate on the practical things, you know, how to use TextRit and how to go on with your editions and being able to start your actual research.